The Security Council says it is time for military intervention in Mali. It's calling for a specific plan within 45 days to flush out armed groups who've taken over the northern part of the country. The fighters are gaining local support by abolishing taxes and paying large salaries to young men and children who join them. You can find the UN had been fairly reluctant to get involved and the initial plans that had been pre presented by ECOWAS were regarded as short on detail and a bit too sketchy. Over the last few weeks, though, uh, the international community has rallied around the idea of uh, an intervention uh, to uh, help in uh, northern uh, Mali. They had been given, the United Nations given 45 days to ECOWAS to come up with these uh, plans from the 12th of October. That's exactly what they've done. These latest plans are quite detailed. They present a plan, a six-month plan, the idea being that uh, once this is approved by the United Nations by the end of November, or early December, uh, there would be, first of all, a phase of training the troops, uh, consolidating the power of the Malian troops in the south of the country, preparing them uh, for what was to follow, negotiating with some of the groups in the north, possibly uh, only resorting to the actual to actual force, uh, perhaps a few months down the line. But the whole process will be kicked off uh, end of November, early December, when the United Nations more than likely approves uh, this latest version of ECOWAS plan. Uh, to intervene militarily in the north of Mali. Now, ECOWAS has said that it wants to military intervene, but actually it says it would prefer negotiation. And indeed, negotiations are already uh, on the cards. One of the difficulties, of course, in all this is that there is such a huge variety of groups uh, present in the north of the country. You have Ansardin, you have the MNLA of the Tuaregs, uh, and you also have another group, the Movement for Unity and Jihad in West Africa, which are based largely in uh, Gao. And so uh, there are a number of groups with whom one would have to negotiate in order to bring about a negotiated uh, settlement. That has already begun. The MNLA have indicated that they would be willing to accept the idea of autonomy rather than the outright independence they'd been arguing for for so many months. As for Ansardine, uh, they have been involved, they and their leader, Ayad Ag Ghali, the former Tuareg rebel, uh, now Islamist leader, uh, have been involved in talks that have been hosted by Algeria over the last few weeks. So there is some movement and some room there for hope that dialogue uh, may yet help win over some of those uh, that are present on the ground in the north of Mali. Uh, what's uh, m most certain, though, is that the hardest line foreign-led Islamist uh, troops that are be believed to be uh, in the north of the country will have to be ousted uh, uh, militarily, although once the others had been got rid of, the idea is that would no doubt happen much, much more easily.